Welcome, Marvin Wright families. We are so excited to have you, all of our new families coming to Marvin Wright, and all of our returning families. We wanted to put together a video since we will not be having a face-to-face -face open house. All of our teachers are in the process of creating videos as well for you, but we wanted to give you a layout of the school. So this is our front entrance. So as when you arrive, this is our front entrance. This is where you will enter whenever you want to come after the bell rings or any of those things. If parents want to come and sign you out early for doctor's appointments, this is where you go. If you turn over here to this awning, this is our car rider awning. You must use the loop that goes around the back of the building. You will then come through here and unload underneath the awning. We will have temperature checks before you get out of the vehicle. So please be prepared before you get out of the vehicle, you will have to have your temperature checked and then you can exit and enter through this awning. If you turn to the other side of the building, that is our bus awning. That is where our buses will be coming. They use that driveway and they will unload. They unload one person at a time and they also will have their temperatures checked. So let's come on inside and let's see what we have in store. All right, as you come and you are a visitor, you will not be able to get inside the building. It is locked. So you must come over here to our call panel and you will need to push the button and the lovely receptionist will talk to you. Yes, I would like to um, come in and I need to sign out my child for a dentist appointment. Okay, you'll hear a click at the door. Please have your driver's license in hand. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the door will unlock. You will have to have your driver's license ready um, whenever you come into the building, and you'll show that driver's license to the front lady sitting at the desk. So come on in. is what we call it. You will not be able to enter these doors. They stay locked at all times. So we will need to enter through this door right here. So as we enter, you are coming into our office area. So our office area is this office area right here. This is where you will come in. You will sign out your child if you have to. And then this is where students come and they bring in the morning attendance or if they need any kind of assistance throughout the day from the office, this is where they'll come. As we turn around here to go exit through, this door always stays locked as well. For, for this purpose right here, we have it open and propped open for the video purposes, but students will have to be buzzed out into this school building at all times. So if you'll make your way this way, This is our front foyer area. This is where, if you stay here, we have the hallways. And we have multiple hallways that have multiple classrooms and there's also different things in the hallway. So if we go down and we go to my left, this hallway is where our library and our gym are located. So at this time, we're gonna take a tour down this hallway and we're gonna show you the library and the gym. This right here is our gym. So if we open up the gym doors, let's head on inside. This is our gym. Coach Odom is our PE teacher. And so he will have exercises and he will have other things that he does within his class. But this is our gym. Let's head to the library. All right, now we've entered the library. So this is our library and we do have tables and we have lots of books for checkout. So when you come, it will all be arranged a little neat and then you can check out books for you to take home and read. 
Now, let's hop on down and find some other places to explore. All right, now we're back in the lobby area. So now we're gonna take you down a different hallway, which is the same hallway, it's just long. So it's gonna go to the right this time. And if I'm standing in the foyer, to the right is my kindergarten hallway and the cafeteria. So at this time, if we'll travel down the kindergarten hallway and make our way to the cafeteria, we can see what that looks right, like. Now we're to the cafeteria entrance. So if we've made our way down the hallway, this is where you will eat lunch. So if you make your way in here, you'll come in here. You'll go through the serving line, which is going to be behind me over here. And then you'll come and make your way into the cafeteria. Again, it's not set up at the moment, but this is where our cafeteria eats. All right, we're back in the front foyer area. So if you see, we have two hallways that go out like a V. Our first hallway is gonna be the first grade. So if you're gonna go to first grade, you have a first grade student, they'll come down this side of the V. If you have a second, third, or fourth grade student, they will come down this side of the V. If you notice, there are two doors on both sides, one leading to this hallway and one leading to this hallway. On the left side is our computer room, and that's where we have technology. And to the right over here is where we have our computer lab. So those are where our specials are. We just showed you the library and, oh, sorry, it's music. I apologize. This is the computer, and this side over here is our music. So I showed you the library, and I showed you the gym. And now we're fixing to go into these two rooms so you can see the setup of those. All right, this is our computer lab. So this is where students will come in, and our technology teacher, Mrs. Holland, she teaches coding, and she teaches how to navigate, to work a mouse for kindergarten students. So this is where lots of things happen in our technology department with our computer lab. Now we're in our music room. This is where Miss Dayton is. And Miss Dayton does great things in music. So she uses multiple instruments and she does lots of things that are very fun and exciting and the kids really enjoy coming to music class on a weekly basis. Now we're back in the foyer again. And so now we're gonna travel down our first grade wing. And with that, we're gonna show you how to get to the playground. So if you're gonna go to the playground for the day, you will come down and travel down that first grade hallway to the playground. Playground doors. So as we go to the playground, you will exit through these doors. So come on, let's go see the playground. All right, so the playground has multiple things to do. We have one section with lots of slides and monkey bars and swings. We also have the basketball court that you can do. We also have a shade area over there that if it's a little warm and you just want to hang out, you can hang out. And then we also have our triangle and um, jungle gym along with our little step stools. The step stools are the new parts of the playground. And so we do have multiple areas that you can play. You can also play in the grass. So there are some field areas that you can play. So I know you're gonna enjoy the playground. Let's go back inside. Get him back into the four years. So now we're gonna take a trip down our second and third grade hallway. We will get into the fourth grade hallway as well. Um, but we're gonna go show you the art room and our STEM room. So let's head on down to the art room. So we came to the end of the second and third grade hallway and this is our art room. Come on inside. This is this art room, which is Mrs. Miller. So Mrs. Miller teaches our art. And as you can see, it does have a roll up door. So we can roll that door up when it's cooler and have art on the patio. But most of the time we have art sitting at our table. So we have our tables. Again, this one's not quite set up yet, um, but she's in the process of doing that and we know you'll love art. The next room and the final room that we're gonna show you is our STEM room. So if we head down this hallway, if you'll follow me, this 
is our fourth grade hallway. So as you come to the end of the second and third, you would need to turn and this is our fourth grade hallway. And on our fourth grade hallway is our STEM room. So let's head on down to the STEM room. All right, so now we're to the STEM room and a STEM room is also a Mrs. Holland. So sometimes you might be in our computer lab with technology and sometimes you might come down here to the STEM room. So come on inside and we'll show you the STEM room. So our STEM room has multiple um, things that they can do. They do work um, collaboratively at tables, um, but they're gonna be doing things as far as robotics. Um, sometimes they will have to do some coding and they do that with your Spiros, but they do a lot of hands-on, more of your STEM-based projects in here. That concludes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed the tour of Marvin Wright, and we do look forward to seeing each and every one of you and welcome our new students. I will want to tell, I want to let you know that there will be multiple people throughout this building for the first couple of days and even weeks to help anyone navigate the building. So if anyone has any questions once those students get dropped off, feel free to contact any adult that is standing in the hallway and we will help any student arrive to their classroom. Thank you and have a wonderful day.